let's talk about work order inspections. Another area, another area that I don't think enough people are using, but of course these are your these are your choices to choose from. The inspections give you the ability to provide a documented inspection sheet so that all technicians are doing the same inspection. Consistency. There are several options in these on how we can add service packages from the inspection and things, but let's talk about completing the inspections first, and then we'll come back to this slide. Okay, so we want to go to the work order. Let's just take, I want to actually take a different work order because I want to show you guys a couple of tricks here. I'm going to take this really good customer of mine here, and the customer came in with a cooling system leak, so I've identified his concern with the details. I've put on a cooling system inspection sheet, and then this is where I'm charging the customer to go through the inspection. You guys can do that however you want. On the inspection sheets, your technicians will have, can have a printed copy, or if they can get to the computer, okay, they can have an electronic copy. And all that's required is whoever's going to enter the inspection results, whether it's the technician, the service advisor. Here are all the cooling system items listed that we want our tech to look at when they complete a tech inspection. So all you have to do is identify the inspection result. Our software comes with the MAP standard, the Motorist Assurance Program, of conditions, O standing for OK, no action is required. S stands for suggested, which means we are going to suggest to the customer they take action. R means required, normally meaning this vehicle is unsafe to operate until this, call, this problem has been corrected. All you really need to do with these, okay, all you really need to do with these, and, and actually let me back up a notch because I did pick the wrong job. I didn't want to do it on that one. I want to do it a little bit different. Okay, so here I've got an oil change courtesy inspection. Doesn't matter what it is, we've listed out the items. So normally whoever's going to make these entries simply goes into the item. You can just do a double click on the box. It then will identify which box you want to check. The MAP standard comes with some brief line descriptions, so this adheres to the Motorist Assurance Program. So we can simply go in here and say whatever we want, okay? And then you also have the ability to jot a brief note down here, maybe like right front, right front headlight is out. So you can type in any notes you want. To move down the list, you can press Enter, which will then move you down to the next line item. Or, if you would prefer, you can simply come down here and, again, double-click on the item, check the box, pick from the list if you wanted to use the list and enter any notes you want. So you would simply move down the list identifying, normally, the items that are in need of a suggested repair or a required repair, whatever those items are. So just bounce down the list and um, enter the items. When you're done, entering your S's and R's, or whatever codes you guys want to use. One of the worst things in the world is to just identify the things that are wrong and not inform the customer that the other items are okay. So after you've entered your S's and your R's, or whatever conditions, I want to make sure that I identify all the rest of the items are okay. And instead of going down each line and doing that, you can simply click on the O once you've entered all your S's and R's. You can come over to the right task menu, and I'm going to say, I want to set the rest of these items as OK. And when I set those items as OK, as I'm going to get a confirmation. Okay, But whenever I've entered existing entries, like for the exterior lights, and down here on the air filter, it says, wait a minute. You've got some items that aren't OK. Do you want to overwrite the existing items with OK? And no, I don't. So I'm going to click No, so thereby my R's and S's stay, but everything else gets an OK check mark. And I'm hoping that will save you guys some time. I say there's nothing worse than giving a customer a check sheet that isn't completed 
because the first thing they're going to think is, well, did you look at that? So by using this little utility, then you're going to get all your check boxes in. I don't know if you know, you also have the ability to print this inspection and give it to your customer if that's anything you'd want to do. So it's always a good idea to get all those boxes checked and, um, and get them ready. Okay, so hopefully that'll be a little bit of a help for, uh, for everybody. And then again, I would probably come over here and say now, my inspection's been completed. So you see how you can change your workflow stages. All right, let's move to the next item. Okay. The next item is going to be adding service packages from the inspection, and I'm going to take this in two stages, so bear with me just a little bit, because there's been an improvement to this also. I'm going to go back to this vehicle now. Sorry I brought it up earlier, and again, this is the one that came in with the cooling system problem. I've given the inspection to my tech, and if my tech has access, access to the work orders, my tech can click on inspections. If not, they can fill it out on a paper sheet, and the service advisor can fill it out. So let's talk about adding the inspections from, excuse me, adding the services from the inspection sheet. You're going to notice that all these items are laid out. There's no major organization to them of any kind. But let's just say that we're going to do a cooling system flush. So again, if I'm going to suggest, then I can simply double click. I can click, actually, let me show you guys. I have options here. I can double click on the left hand side or I can double click in the box either way. And I'm going to make a suggestion that we do a cooling system flush. Again, if you wanted to, you have the ability to bring these down. Your tech has the ability to enter a note, okay? Any notes you want, again, we'll print on the inspection. And from right here, I can click on Add Service, and I'm going to have the ability to enter a service package from this area right here. I'm going to come to Quick Picks next. Let's talk a little bit about how we just find those services. Normally, what's going to happen is this item is going to populate in the title, and it's going to do a search on whatever the item listing is on the left-hand side. So you can search, or you could type in whatever you want and do a search on that. That narrows the list down, as you guys can see. Or, again, you can clear these out, and you can go look for the needle in the haystack. So whichever way works best for you, Okay, these are the things that are available for you um, in using the ability to add these service packages from the inspection sheet itself. So essentially all you'll do is look for the item, and I, I'll apologize because I've had a little trouble with my service packages over the last couple of days. I've got too many people in my database, but anyway, you simply identify which item it is. Let me back up and go to the radiator cap here. Okay. So double click, I'll check that, I'll go to the service package, and then I'm going to open up, without quick picks, I'm going to open up the item, and we're simply going to go down here and find our cooling system radiator cap, okay? So there are a couple of ways that this can actually be done, all right? This is the old school way, but it is available, and I'm still, I'm still not even finding my radiator cap in here, so... Let me just try this and utilize some of the tools, and here we go, distributor cap, radiator cap. So your title search is going to narrow down your list of items, and that'd be a good tool to use, and if that's the item that I want to replace, then I'm going to just do an add and close. And now the little icon out on the far right identifies that I've added that service package. I'm going to go on down my list. Actually, I put it in the wrong place, but it doesn't really matter. Let's go to radiator hoses. Okay, we're going to make a suggestion here. You guys know the notes, and I'm going to go back here and then identify my hoses. So again, it's real simple for me to just type that in, narrow down the list, do heater hoses or whatever I wanted to do, and bring those items back to the work order. So that's one way to add your service packages from the inspection sheet. On the other hand, there is a new feature that has been added not long ago, and that feature is going to be the Quick Picks. 
Quick Picks are going to allow the user to select service packages that are best going to fit the repair for that single item. Let's take a look first at the setup for Quick Picks. Again, under Work Order Settings, we're going to go to Inspections. Simply identify the inspection that you want to work with. Let's go to Cooling System. We'll simply open the Cooling System Inspection Sheet up. On the Inspection tab, here is the list of items okay, that I have entered for my technician to inspect. To set my quick picks, I simply identify the item. I'll select Edit Quick Picks, and you can see these are the quick picks that I've added for this job. So it's really pretty simple to do. Let's take an item that doesn't have a quick pick. Identify the item, select Quick Picks. You're going to go out to your searching. I'm going to go to Cooling System because I'm working on the Cooling System Inspection Sheet. Stretch the screen out a little bit, and what services would you want to add for the cooling system for that particular item, the antifreeze? That might be something like a flush. So let's do a fluid exchange. Let's do a flush. Okay. Once this gets out of my way here, I'll be able to add it. Okay. And now you see I've set these two quick picks as quick references okay, for that item. By doing that, you're going to see the little bundle on the left, and those are my quick picks. If you just hover over these bundles, it'll show you what quick picks you've added. Now, how do they work? Okay. The way that they work streamlines the whole process. Okay. So now, if I go down the list, Let's just do this. Let's say we've got a water pump that's bad. That's the cooling system problem. Double click on the water pump, required, whatever reason, if you guys want to use these, add service package, and now guess what happens? Right at the top of your tree, you're going to see your quick picks. And to repair the water pump is usually going to be a water pump. So see how easy it makes. I eliminate my search. I eliminate looking for the item. Your quick picks are right on top. Add and close. Here are the related services, which I hope you guys are using. Click on OK. okay. Anywhere else in the system that I need that, that's exactly how that scenario is going to work. If I want to do belts, I'm going to suggest for whatever reason. I'm going to add my service package. Here are my quick picks right on top. Add and close. Any of the services you add from the inspection sheet will then go directly onto the work order. And here you're going to see the radiator cap, the heater hose, water pump, serpentine belt. I encourage everybody to think about this because it is a, is it a tremendous time saver. So there will be a little bit of time to set up your quick pack, quick picks, but your fruits of that effort will be identified with how easy and quick it is to add your service packages to the work order from your inspections. So hopefully everybody can learn a little bit some from that and take it away. So set up quick picks and using quick picks. The next item is probably one of the biggest hits and this one won't take long so we're going to have time for some questions this is what we call the catalog lookup wizard. For those of you who were legacy users and for those of you who really haven't picked this part of it up, let me just go and explain it. I've got a couple of service packages on this job now, as you guys can see, radiator cap, heater hose, water pump, you know, all the way down the line. The easiest thing for me to do is to just take a staircase. Most people that are using the software today, when they want to use the catalogs, are going to go in one item at a time and select Catalog Lookup. They're going to resolve that lookup, then they're going to go down to the next item. That's the way the old software worked. Once I get all my jobs on my ticket, the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to click on Catalog Lookup and I want you guys to follow along. In the software, you know labor and part lines in the service packages have a lookup required. And if you'll notice, even though I started on the cooling system, that line is resolved. 
So it's like walking down a, status, a, a, a staircase. So you'll notice the system is automatically taken to the next item that needs to be looked up, the radiator cap labor. Here's my labor guide for the radiator cap, okay, if I wanted to pick from this. If I don't, because normally I wouldn't charge the customer for doing the radiator cap, I'm going to leave that line alone and I'm going to click on next. When I click on next, it's like taking the next step down. So it automatically switches from labor to parts lookup. You have all your supplier connections in here. You guys can pick from any of them you want. And whichever item you want, check the box, click on apply. Now watch what it does. It takes the next step down the staircase and it's looking up the heater hose labor. If that's the labor I want, check the box, click on apply. It's now going to go look up the heater hose. If I wanted to, and you, you see how it flips back and forth. And while I'm here, I see that Napa really doesn't have what I need. Maybe I want to look at CarQuest. Go ahead and click on CarQuest or whoever, any of your other supplier connections, you have the ability to check them. Okay, heater hose to engine, whichever it is. This is just simply a demonstration. Don't, don't pick on me for picking the wrong stuff, but I'm just showing you some of the tools. Click apply, going to go to hose clamps. I'm not going to I'm not going to look up the hose clamp. I am going to know what hose clamp it takes, but I mean I can still look at my suppliers and what they have. I'll probably bring my hose clamp out of inventory if I move to the next item. I'm looking up the water pump labor. There's my water pump labor. If I've got a cooler interference, I can click the interference times, apply. It then takes the next step down and looks up the water pump. Okay, so if that's the water pump I want, or whichever one I want, I open up those nodes, and of course I have the ability to go ahead and check those items. Okay, hose clamps again, don't need them, they're in inventory, so once the screen settles, I'm going to go next. Here's my serpentine belt labor, this is a two-door vehicle, okay. And if I look in here, whatever belt it is, again, don't pick on me for the details, apply, okay, and then the actual belt itself. So we go back to parts. If I see what CarQuest has, I may prefer Napa, so let me go back to Napa. Okay, this is a limited vehicle. All of these are one-time questions, by the way, guys, in case you didn't know that. Check availability, whichever belt it is. Um, check the box and click on apply. Belt tensioner, I don't need it, so I'm going to go next and skip over it. Okay, we go to the dry belt idler, don't need it, so I'm done. I'm going to go ahead and click on a cancel or I could hit the X, it doesn't matter. And guess what guys, take a look at my work order. Everything's all priced out except for those items that I said I was going to look at inventory for. But if you look at that without an explanation, that would not take you very long to do. So let me close by saying I encourage, get all your jobs on, and then go to catalog lookup, and it'll be just like walking down a set of stairs. You won't have to do the one at a time catalog lookup, and I bet you at the end of the day, you've saved yourself quite a bit of time.